Uh, hello, this is the second video, second of three videos that I have making here on the uh, use of the OSYNC charts in a dongle. So in the first video, we bought the chart. And so up here on our, in our records at uh, ocharts.org, we see that we have a chart, but there would be no information about it. It's not, in other words, it's not assigned anywhere. It just shows that we own, we own that chart, and then it's waiting for us to tell it what to do with it. Now we're going to do something with it. So we, uh, so I first now I have that plug in now dongle and I plug the dongle in and I uh, open the uh, open CPN. Okay, so that's there. Now this is a uh, clean machine here. Um, actually, let's see here. Uh, plugins. Yeah, these are just the basic plugins that come with the uh, come with them the stock one. So I've downloaded the plugin, the OSYNC plugin, and that's right on their website um, in the plugin section. You download it to your desktop or downloads or somewhere and then just click it to install it. Yes, I'm just showing that this is a very fast process. And then you do that, finish, we're done. Now, let's see if it'll do that without me closing open CPN. Oh yeah, sure it is. There it's there. And so um, uh, I want to, and oh, it is enabled. It is enabled. I, I would think, I think this comes disabled. Anyway, enable it, and then uh, look at the preferences. Now, and here's what, here's our first step on this box. We want to do a system identification. We want to create a fingerprint file for the dongle. And so you have two buttons you could push here. We want to push this one, create USB key dongle system ID file. So you click that and you say yes. Uh, the finger file is, uh, and then it'll write it. So you say that. And so that is, um, do you want to allow this app to make changes? I'm going to say no. I'm going to stop it. Um, then I require okay I rec okay so I just crashed it I just quit it because I've done this already and so what that does is it creates this file here this very short text file that ends in uh, 2620.fpr and it will make it will automatically cop it'll store one in the data file o ocean um, o o op open CPN data file data program data, but it also puts one on the desktop, and that's all we're going to need, and it's right here on the desktop. So we're done. That's all we need to do at that point. Remember, the dongle was in there when we did this. Okay, so we're done. Cancel. Oh, let me just, uh, okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's close that. So now I'm going to just minimize this, and then I go back to open, uh, no, open ocharts.org and log back in. Well, I did this under Toby's name uh, so that I don't mix it up with the charts. I own a, quite a few of these charts um, on, in my own name, and I didn't. it was too confusing. I tried to demo it with that, and it was too confusing. So we bought one specifically for this purpose. Okay, so here is the... Uh, now, this won't be there. At this point, these numbers won't be there. You'll just come to this page. You'll have this information. These two places will still be blank. This will be blank, and this will be blank. And so now we're going to do what it wants to get that assigned. So what you do at this page, and then there, again, we made a text file. There's a, there's a blog post. You can follow the blog post and then come back to the videos or not, or uh, you'll see how it works when you do it. It's fairly straightforward, but if you read the blog, you'll see step-by-step step all the way through. So here you would put a name, but we're doing a we're, we're doing like if I were putting this in in something. Um, see, look, this is what this is what I did once. That's totally a mistake. You don't have to put any name here for the dongle. Um, so uh, you just leave this blank, and you say choose a file. Then uh, choose a. F 
uh, choose a file and then you would go back to your desktop navigate to your desktop now I'm not gonna here I am at the desktop you see there's the file 62620 right there and say open that's there that's that's there and then you would say then after that's there and I'm not gonna do it because I've already done this then you say add new file click this button add new file so that's there now after you do that several things will happen after that's done first of all this will show up here it will have identified the serial number of your dongle they'll always start with SG SG the name of the guy who invented that security system and his uh, letter initials are SG and so that's that and then the serial number and then this will be this will be blank it'll be just like this choose system see this one's still open I could go I, I have a sign now these this chart of Poland that I bought I've assigned it to the dongle but I have one more place I could assign it to as well but now and then and then you'll see in the article there'll be another big green sign up here and says your charts are being processed down here now we're looking at this like 20 minutes later and they're already processed so I can click the download button so if you come back in 20 minutes then or well actually it's not even 20 minutes it's a few minutes three or four minutes you can come back and then download the chart so that's then your next step after you've done that you see your dongle ID and then you'll see to download the charts these are zip this is just a few little charts up on the uh, Polish coast and there's 46 megabytes so I've downloaded them they come as a zipped file and then I unzip them here so here are those charts let's just see what they look like yeah and so here are the uh, here are the actual OSINC charts these guys down here in the bottom and upstairs here are the uh, the associated uh, text files these are text files I don't know they don't have an extension here but yeah they're text files they're the pop-up notices so those are the charts and so that's all done so we're done. We got the charts and we download them here. Now again, as I stress various places, at this point, you want to have a, a hard drive, not the dongle, but a little thumb drive where you put on it your cap, your copy of uh, Ocean uh, Open CPN, a copy of the dongle install, uh, well, the Ocean CPN installer, the dongle installer, and your charts, whatever set of charts you have. Those are all on this uh, this uh, on your thumb drive and so then we're done here we're totally done we don't have to be online anymore at all with this company O charts we're done with them we can go back now to here and let's see what we've done what did we install here open CPN preferences oh okay so none of this we don't need any of that anymore uh, we don't need that anymore okay now the dongle is in um, let me pause a minute actually I pause because this looks easier it looks too easy but I don't think it is too easy it must be the dongle information got transferred to to this set of charts okay so let's just see what we need to do here let's just go in to here and go to charts and then just say where these charts are located and they're located on the desktop uh, users uh, this one and then um, let's see on the desktop that's here and then here are the charts right here select folder okay apply um, okay yeah it's doing something so that's what it was I wondered how they how we communicated the dongle information to the uh, program but that is we we identify here's what happened we identified the dongle we identified the dongle and then we downloaded the charts so when those charts got downloaded that dongle information got put into those charts that must be what happened anyway we're good to go so that's it uh, go okay go now these are the chart outlines here and if you turn this on these are if you don't see these if you don't see these you have to put on uh, chart outlines that's these okay here 
And you know, these are, those lines are going to be in the way at some point, but they're helpful while you're understanding what charts you got. Like this little one through this cut here is probably this chart right here. Yeah. And um, so then you can zoom in on that. These are really, these are ENC charts. Again, we recommend our book for learning how to use them most effectively. All right, that's the process then of uh, assigning the charts to the dongle. This is video two, video two. Then we have this video three, which just starts from scratch, that you have in your hand the dongle. You're on a different boat. You go a totally different boat. Somebody hands you a laptop. You're out at sea in the middle of nowhere. And you have a laptop, and then you have a uh, thumb drive. And on that thumb drive is OpenCPN, a copy of the plugin, and a copy of the charts, and then you have your dongle. So you have a dongle and a thumb drive, and the other video shows that that's all you need to then start looking at these official copy-protected charts on a new system.